Hello, this is Ms. Pat from San Luis Public Library. Today with Science Scouts, we're going to learn about magnets. Our book for today is called That Magnetic Dog by Bruce Watley. Magnet attracts metal objects like keys and spoons. My dog Skitty doesn't attract metal. She attracts food. When mom has a biscuit with her tea, Skitty gives her that look, that magnetic look. And before you know it, Skitty has a biscuit too. Sometimes more than one. That magnetic look can be very strong. We're not allowed to feed Skitty at the dinner table, but somehow food always goes in her direction. When dad and I make a cake, we don't worry about any batter that spills on the floor. We know it will disappear. And we never ask who wants the last bit. Skitty always gets the last bit. Sometimes she even gets the first bit. Now that Skitty steals, not that Skitty steals food, she doesn't have to. It just seems to follow her around. Even when Skitty is walking down the street, food is attracted to her. She likes Chinese food too, but I wonder if she gets too much of it. Skitty takes food very seriously. We have to be extremely fast when buying fast food. Blink and she's taken away our takeaway. Peanut butter and honey sandwiches are my favorite. Unfortunately, they're skitties too. Once my brother even climbed our tree to eat his strawberries in peace, but there's no escape. Skitty has magnetism all right. It isn't only food she attracts, she attracts people too. There's no escaping that magnetic look of that magnetic dog. Okay, so I'm sure you all know that magnets usually only attract metal. And while the dog is not really magnetic, it did apparently attract food. So magnets is matter that's made up of tiny particles called atoms, and that's what this picture is. Right? They have a negative charge electrons that spin around them. That's what these green little dots are. Okay, and they're, as they spin around, if they spin around fast enough, they make a magnetic field. If it pairs off, it cancels each other out. So in this case, we have two. They're going in two different directions, so they're gonna cancel each other out. But, in certain things, like iron, they have unpaired electrons, okay? And they're gonna spin, spin in the same direction, so there's no opposing one that's going to cancel them out. And they're gonna have an invisible force around them called magnetism. The iron nails are going to be attracted to magnets. Okay, and this top picture here is a nail, an iron nail, and the electrons are going in all different directions, but if it's been touched by a magnet, and here's the magnet, all of them are gonna start going in the same direction just like the magnet, okay? The magnet is gonna be strong enough to pull all the electrons in one direction and pretty much cancel them out. Now, if you've ever taken magnets together and you try and put them together, sometimes they'll stick and sometimes they move apart. So opposites attract. If you have a south pole and a north pole, they're gonna to stick together. But if they're pushing apart, 
okay? Same poles, north and north or south and south, they're not gonna stick together. Okay, so when they don't stick together, that's the opposite poles, right? And all magnets have a north and a south pole. So you can't really bend a magnet and make the other end stick. Well, I shouldn't say that. You could, if you could bend the magnet, you'd make a north and a south split stick to each other. Um, but that's what this picture is. So our um, craft today is, if you come into the St. Louis Public Library and you get a STEM kit, ask them for the magnet STEM kit, and we will give you a um, picture. You cut out the maze, you're gonna put it on a plate, we'll give you the plate. You can decide what goes in the middle. Are you gonna put the snowman's hat in the middle or the acorn? And then you're gonna attach the magnet to either the snowman or a squirrel. And then there's a little magnetic marble that you're going to move around underneath the plate, right? And the directions come with it. And you're gonna move the squirrel through the magnet, uh, through the maze, or the snowman through the maze to the center to get their prize, okay? If you're not doing it right, or you rush too fast, it's not gonna stick. There's a little piece of iron, the little iron, or kind of like a little pebble. You can um, glue that to the back of your squirrel or back of your snowman, okay? Or you can leave it on the plate and just move that instead of the squirrel and the snowman, that's up to you. Or you could attach that and a paper clip. That puts a lot of metal on the back of your little thing that you wanna move. And then you're gonna put the magnet underneath the plate. So I'm gonna get somebody here. Okay, I have my granddaughter, Aurora. Aurora. Okay, and we've already put the maze together. So we have the maze cut out. We glued it on the back of the plate. You can do the back of the plate, the front of the plate. We did a uh, acorn in the middle, and we did a squirrel. Okay, now on the back of the squirrel, I have a paper clip already um, glued to it. If you put glue on the back of the uh, thing, you're gonna have to let it dry for a while because it's really not gonna work if your glue is wet. It's not gonna glue too well. It's just gonna kind of leave a mess on your maze. So make sure if you put glue on it, let it sit for a while, wait till it's really dry. Okay, you gotta be able to kind of go like this and make sure it's gonna do that. So the start of my maze is up here. So I'm just gonna hold this here for the moment, okay? And what you guys are gonna get in your stem bag is gonna be a magnetic marble. So when you put it on the back, it's gonna stick, right? And then as you move the marble, it'll go all over the place. And then you don't have to do it this way because Aurora's gonna just show you how to do the maze. But it's a little bit harder when you're holding it up and looking at a screen than it is when you're holding the plate down in front of you and actually trying to make it move. Okay. All right, and she got it. All right, so hope you enjoy it. You could uh, make another copy if you want or just put tape on it and switch it out to do the snowman and his hat. And you're going to find those. And we will see you next week when we do hovercrafts. All right. Till then. Bye. Bye.